All right, here we go. Question number one from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. They give us an absolute value equation and the instructions simply say solve. We're going to try to solve for x. So up here in this window, I've got the problem copied down. Let's see how it works. The first thing that we need to make sure of if you're solving an absolute value equation is you have to make sure that the absolute value is isolated on one side. And so if you notice, I've drawn a red box around the absolute value part. There is nothing outside of the red box on the left hand side. So that we can see the absolute value is isolated. And then if it equals a positive number here, in this case, it equals to positive six. That means that we're actually going to get two solutions. And so the way we work this is we say 4x minus 1 equal to 6. And 4x minus 1 can also be negative 6. Now think about this. If I take the absolute value of 6, that will equal to 6 because absolute value is always positive. If I take the absolute value of negative 6, that will also equal to 6 because the absolute value of a negative number becomes positive. So these are our two equations that we need to solve to get our two solutions. So moving the negative 1 over, that's going to make that a positive. 6 and 1 gives me 7. Divide both sides by 4. Our first solution is 7 fourths. And let's leave that improper. That's the way I like it. All right. For the other equation, the negative 1 comes over. That becomes plus 1. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Divide both sides by 4. Our second and final solution, negative 5 fourths. Now, if you wanted to, you could take those, plug them back into the original problem, and check. But the way I'm going to check is I'm going to put it actually into my lab math and see if I'm right. So we've got 7 fourths, comma, negative 5 fourths, and done. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.